we should burn it down, I guess. So, hey, good start. Hurry. What did I miss while I was in there? Here, take my hand. <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, we should probably get out of here. The fire is spreading. We need to go now. Yesterday. Come on, let's get out of here. What the frick am I looking at? What in all that is? Darn it! What in all that is holy? <laughs> uh, hmm. Adira's been bit- Adira! You've been ho holding out on this, uh, talent of yours. <laughs> Interesting. What is that? <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? Perfect. Flawless. I mean, it is something. I like that the- Chisel now has like a broken sword piece to it. Just as I always imagined her to be. <laughs> now she can watch over me. Just like she'll be watching over you two. <laughs> uh, uh, Ad Adira, you need to breathe. But um, you're probably going to have trouble with that with this fire, so... Adira, you need to listen to us. You need help. She needs an exorcism. Shh! No, no, you need to listen. Do you hear that? They are here. I hear them. All cheering me on. Do what needs to be done. Okay, but real talk, this is like a sick CG. <laughs> like, there's a lot going on in this picture. <laughs> like, yikes. Adira, you need to let this go. Just look around you. This place is burning down. <laughs> I think we've lost her. You think fire has a chance of tarnishing these sacred halls? Yeah, actually, I think it's got a chance. No. No. This place will last forever. You only need to have a little faith. Besides, my youth has long passed. There's, there's no Dreams left for me. Well, maybe you can find some peace, though, after all this time. There's only... Oh, there's... The voices. The beautifully eternal voices. After all this time. After years and years of lonely silence. And if you had only been listening, you could have heard Cornelia earlier. You're wrong. Hmm? It was never silent, was it? Get her, Holly. If you just stop and listen, there's the sound of birds and the rustling of leaves in the wind, the sound of us breathing, even our heartbeats. Then there's Cornelia. Yup. <laughs> I talked to her, you know. All this time, she's been calling out to you. Trying so hard to be heard. But you couldn't hear her, could you? You were too busy. Too busy chasing after some perfect little dream of... Of what? Heaven on earth? I'm still so curious how... How are they going to put this to rest? Like, things are burning down, but... 
does someone have to die here? Kind of like they did in the letter. Do... Does she have to somehow ask for forgiveness from Cornelia or just like talk to her? Because I feel like there's like another multi-ghost thing going on here. There's like um, Idalora, but also Cornelia. Don't know if there's like a two-stage part to, you know, cleansing this curse or not. You ended up getting distracted from what really mattered. <gasps> no. Mother Edelora said. To hell with Mother Edelora! Ooh, we're getting all the CGs. Gabby's still like, I don't know what's going on, but we gotta get out of here. I'm done keeping my mouth shut. Listen to what I am telling you right now. I know what it's like to get caught up in a story that you want so badly to be real. Ooh. That's not gonna change anything. It never does. You told me that we each have our own story to play out. Stories that help us leave our mark on the world. Well, guess what? Cornelia, she doesn't have a statue. Not even a single stone to mark her grave. Damn. You just forgot about her. Swept it all under the rug because it was easier that way. If I never came here, no one would have ever known she was here. That she lived. She... She still left her mark here. Hasn't she? And so have you. Not through some stupid miracle. You... You were there for her when no one else was. Watering the flowers. Listening to her stories when no one else would. Talking to her through that silly little snuffed toy. The flowers. I remember the way they bloomed. Yes. Yes. So it was her. Interesting. She always attributed that to, like, Mother Dolora, but... It was actually Cornelia that was taking care of the flowers. Yeah. She wants to see you as well. Even after everything that happened, she still thinks of you. She still wants to talk to her older sister one more time. Oh, damn. I never even made that connection. That Cornelia viewed Adira as the older sister, and of course, Holly lost her little sister. Aw, oh, man. Dang. Got me with that parallel again. <laughs> oh, so that's another, another thing. Holly and Adira are older sisters that have lost a younger sister. I... I... <gasps> oh, she's there! Damn. She's, she's so tiny. Oh my goodness. Look at her throat. Oh man, this poor girl. <gasps> no. It, it can't be. It can't. Adira, watch out! <laughs> Idalora falls on her. <gasps> Did it really? <gasps> oh, well. <gasps> Dang. Well, Adira just pulled a Gabby, I guess. Adira. Well, to make it easier to carry her out. Is she? Adira, we should, we should carry her out. Just leaving her here, letting the fires claim her while she sleeps. You're a good girl, Holly. No, she doesn't deserve that. No one does. For you. 
Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this sounded like they threw her on the ground like Ugh. She lives. Is is she? She's waking up. <laughs> oh, I need to knock her out again. Places never look better. What? What's happening? It's all... It's all burning down. No! 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 The convent! My statues! My work! You... You... What have you done? Out of my way! Hey! Well... Like a skilled monster builder. It was her. She laid the foundation. That's why it's all rotten. And I will not let it burn! Wait! Where are you going? I have to fix it! I have to save it! Oh, she's got a bad. <laughs> Tackle her! There's nothing we can do. Let it go, let it go. The fire never bothered me anyway. <laughs> For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field. God's building. <laughs> Adira. She trusted me. She Trusted me to tend to her legacy. <laughs> I don't even know if that's true. I think you were just the last one to live. Hadira! <laughs> Holly's like, I've had enough of your ish. Will you listen for once? This is why you never heard her. <laughs> huh? I, I, I did. I did hear her. She, she appeared before me just like she said she would. I, I'm, I'm, I'm the only one left to follow her. I'm not talking about Ida Laura. I'm talking about Cornelia. <laughs> Cornelia. No, 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 she, she, that over there, it's just wood, wood and concrete, things could have been much worse, worse? How could any of this be worse? Don't you remember? You knocked me out. Yeah. And her? You locked her up, trapped her in one of those... Those... Boxes! I... I did that. Mm-hmm. No. No. I didn't. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Mother Italora. She's... She said it would fix everything. She told me we'd make everything better, just like before. 
You can give whatever name you want to your sins. That doesn't really fix things. Pew, 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 pew. Damn, get her, Holly. <gasps> Looks like the foundation wasn't that strong after all. Dang, drop the mic, walk away, explosion happens. Holly's so cool. <gasps> Adira, when we first met, you gave me a journal, told me to keep a record of my thoughts. Something about looking back on the old with new eyes. The stuff I ended up writing, it... it wasn't really me. And any real thoughts I'd have, I'd just tear off the page and throw it away so no one could ever see it. The book's probably ashes by now. Guess my Kylie Taylor book's gone as well. Oh, yeah, that's true. But if I had to start somewhere, I'd try to remember what I wrote down on those crumpled pieces of paper. Some good in the world. <laughs> no. No, that's not it. Remember what we told her all those years ago. I just wanted a place to belong. Mm -hmm. And how'd that turn out? <laughs> Damn, Holly. <laughs> That was a good plan, wasn't it? <laughs> Worked real well for you, didn't it? <laughs> well, looks like you've got a lot of work ahead of you. Hopefully this time, you do it right. That's the thing. She's not dead yet. She still has time to at least make some of it right. <laughs> There's still time, Adira. <laughs> It, the easy way out would be to go and burn in there, but don't take the easy way out. Let's get going, Gabby. Y yeah. It's a long walk back home. Better get started. And Adira? When you're ready, you should start too. Special. Heaven on earth. Helping the children. Mother! Mother! Are you there? Answer me! Say anything! Just anything! <laughs> what a terrible dog. I have no words for you, child. You're a big disappointment to me. <laughs> you said we'd fix them. I did everything you asked of me! Every single day! I tended to your church, the statues. I kept them clean. The prayers. I memorized all the prayers. I, I taught. I taught all your teachings. I gave you everything. Even Cornelia. Ooh. <laughs> Even Cornelia. Well, at least she admitted it. And still. Maybe you should call it to Cornelia. <laughs> Mother? Aw, Cornelia's trying to reach out to you.
the trees that are in the wood, the holly bears the crown. <gasps> How do you sing without a face, dear one? Ah, Cornelia. <gasps> you! You can finally see her. Singing keeps the silence away. You taught me that. Remember? Cornelia? I did. I, I, I did. I, I said that. Here you go. <gasps> she remade the bracelet? Stop. You have a ghost bracelet. You kept it. Didn't you? I... I tried. I tried to fix it. I... <laughs> did it help? Help? What you... That's why I gave it to you. Just a little something to talk to. In case you ever got lonely. <gasps> no, it... It didn't. I... I didn't. I never did. You should have talked to it. I would have listened. I've been listening all this time. <gasps> Cornelia! Aww. Look at her. She's so precious. <gasps> I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. She's comforting her, the reverse. Not so silent after all. I was here the whole time. You just had to listen. Hooray. Hmm. And then catching up with our girls. Feel that? Yeah. Ooh. Finally that cool mountain air. Well dang, that's real pretty. Magical, even, I would say. Also, are you girls holding hands? That's a suspicious angle. <laughs> Makes you wish we signed up for a summer camp like the normal kids. <laughs> what? But the normal kids wouldn't have had to relive so much trauma. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gabby. Yeah? Thanks for helping me out back there. Yeah, we would have suffocated and then burned alive. Well... Yeah. Waking up to that. It must have been terrifying. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure what happened back there. But those things you said to Adira, it was nice hearing you get that off your chest. Well, I'm still learning. <laughs> That's fine. So am I. <laughs> What's so funny? Just look at us. Out of breath, stumbling through the night. I've got ash on my skin and mud all over my feet. <laughs> Not exactly the happy ending you wanted. Yeah, but that's okay. I mean... I'm feeling happy now, strangely enough. I guess that's what matters. 
<laughs> so, what happens next? <sighs> um, I'm not really sure. It's a long walk to the nearest town. We find a phone. I can give my mom a call. Maybe she can pick us up. <laughs> oh boy. I don't even know how I'm going to explain all this to her. Have, man. <laughs> Good luck, girls. But you know what? Maybe... Maybe that's the first step. What do you mean? I want to talk to her. I really talk to her about my dad, about the faith, how I really feel. And in the end, she might not listen, but <laughs> a near-death experience, freaking ghost, burnt down convent. Doesn't seem so scary now. You gotta admit, it's one hell of a conversation starter. So, who knows? Maybe she'll be open to it. I mean, you might have a chance if she only recently converted to the faith, you know? You might have a better chance than Holly's parents. I see. How about you? That's... That's actually a good question. I'm... I'm going back home, we. Or I'm going to try living on my own. I'm not a fan of that. I mean, I can understand her being like, I'm gonna go home and do the same, but... You know what? I think it's time. Do what your sister couldn't, and start living your life. I won't be going home. I think it's best I leave that place behind. Where will you go, though? Haven't thought that part through, to be honest. I've got a cousin who cut herself off from her family. Hey! Maybe... Maybe she'll let me stay with her. There'd be somebody who would understand how you feel. Oh. You could also stay with us, oh. even if it's just for a bit. The way she let you stay with us, winku winku. I, I mean, we've got a spare room in my house, and hmm. well, if if everything goes well with my mom, then um, we can work things out. Really. That, that's all right. I got my own road to walk. Uh, no, I'd love it. Yeah, great. Cool. I love it so much that I skipped over I, this. I'd really like that. There we go. <laughs> <sighs> Man, I'm starving. <laughs> that's one thing I do miss about my mom. Looking forward to her cooking. Can you imagine how weird it's gonna be? With the two of us showing up looking like this. <sighs> Looks like we've got one hell of a story to tell her over dinner. Yeah. It'll be weird. It'll be... different. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. Yeah, different's okay. Somewhere in this forest is a stream. Oh. It's there. I can't see it, but if I listen hard enough, I can hear it. If we're lucky, maybe we'll pass by a flower bed and a grove full of old trees, just like the ones in storybooks. I'm sure you would have loved it, Liana. And I'm not sure if these words will reach you, but for what it's worth, I do still owe you a story. It's all jumbled up. I'm still trying to put all the pieces back together. But I can at least tell you how it ends. <gasps> and so, we both kept walking. Look at these cuties! Doll! Holding hands in a magical firefly forest. Stop. Adorable. Hand in hand through the trees. The sound of leaves crunching beneath our feet. But underneath the light of the moon, 
with the glow of fireflies lighting the path and the warmth of her hand on mine. Aww. The forest was not so dark at all. Not in the slightest. Not in the slightest. Nice. Oh, and that's the end! Wow. Whew. Well, that was... Um... Pretty emotionally charged there at the end, not gonna lie. I really enjoyed that. I I don't know if I would put this at the same level of masterpiece that I consider the letter to be in a lot of ways, but I mean I I really enjoyed this. That was like they they went for a a distinctly different angle with this horror story. Like more more kind of focused on the characters of Holly and Adira. And because there was less characters, it was able to be more focused on them. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do final thoughts on this for sure, but... Man. The, I gotta say, the voice acting in this was phenomenal. So, so good. <laughs> and the music, too. Just, ugh. But yeah, I'm going to have to talk about it in length later on. But I enjoyed it. It wasn't as scary as the letter too, which was great <laughs> for me. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Please don't forget to leave us a good review if you enjoyed the game. For more high quality visual novels, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Please stay tuned for our next games. Thank you so much for playing Saint Maker. Please stay safe. Can I... I think I'm going to need my mouse for this one. There we go. I was kind of hoping this would, like, topple over by the time we finished. <laughs> All right, guys. That is going to do it for Saint Maker. Um, I think I got the secret after scene. Because I heard it involved... If you saw Holly and Gabby at the end of the game, then you had unlocked the secret ending. So I don't think I have to replay anything to get that. I will reconfirm, but that should be it, basically. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for joining me. I guess now it's time for a final thoughts video before we move on to new adventures, which I need to figure out what I'm doing with that. But I will think of that a little later. I'm just gonna kind of wallow, not wallow. <laughs> Wallow has a negative connotation. I'm just going to kind of like settle into the feels of that ending a bit, you know? Just kind of let it, let it marinate in my soul. <laughs> if that makes any kind of sense. But anyway, thank you guys again for joining me. And until next time, I will see you later. <laughs>